I thought I'd just talk today about one of the shortcomings, I think, well, from my medical school in particular, but I'm sure it's a, a common experience. I've... <laughs> we didn't really get taught resilience. I feel that I am generally quite resilient just from by nature of my personality, but we get taught how to deliver bad news, but we never get to- taught how to digest that bad news ourselves for example recently I was uh, involved in the care of a patient who I've been seeing for several months and just recently I thought mm, that's new I was like, well, when, when did that start happening like, I'm not using a specific example here because patient confidentiality but for example oh your, your, your eyes are a bit jaundiced um, and you then start examining them and you start seeing these telltale signs of what could potentially be a type of cancer and you battle with this internally and it's just really, really, really hard to come to terms with when it's someone that you don't know for example, I've worked in A&E and Come up, you come up with these diagnoses that just really nicely tie in together with the patient symptoms. That can be very rewarding, but we don't get taught how to how to deal with it when it's someone that you, you've developed a relationship with over a longer period of time, and it's really hard to deal with. And you see them post diagnosis then start deteriorating, and you just. I don't know. It's just it's just really sad. Oh. It uh, it takes um it takes a lot of time time to recover from something like that, and we don't we don't get taught to have the emotional tools to deal with it in any kind of substantive way. It's just it's just really hard. It's really sad. It's one of the less glamorous sides of medicine that we just. People just don't know, don't know about. And we take this burden along with us and each time it happens, we carry the burden. And they begin to add up. I'm not surprised that many of my colleagues start feeling burnt out after a, after a period of time. Anyway, cheery start to your morning. <laughs>